So this one is just going to be a little bit of uh, an opinion, so not necessarily based on a specific uh, story within the Kavanaugh arc. But <coughs> if you're if you're watching a lot of the reports coming out. Uh, the effect of this entire uh, saga will probably be pretty negative for the Democrats, uh, and it's it's not hard to understand uh, how how that is. Uh, one of the main goals of Chuck Schumer, when Brett Kavanaugh was nominated to replace Anthony Kennedy, was to make sure that before the midterms, Donald Trump would not be able to nominate somebody that would get confirmed to sit on the, the Supreme Court <coughs> and move the needle of the, of the court to the right and potentially uh, have certain uh, cases uh, vulnerable to being overturned. You know, a lot, and, and the one that they always focus on is Roe versus Wade. The Democrats are basically running right now on the notion that a woman's right to choose is in grave danger, on the no notion that workers, uh, that worker benefits are, are in crisis, and all of the, you know, a lot, a lot of issues that they, that they say due to the Supreme Court falling into conservative hands will unravel decades of progressive uh, change that has happened since the 1930s in FDR or, you know, the 1960s and, and Kennedy and Johnson. So I, I will say this <coughs> about that whole tactic. It has become a colossal failure. The reason that it's, it's a failure is because the Democrats could have built a very, very solid case against Brett Kavanaugh getting onto the Supreme Court. And if you want, I think I'll link to that video afterward. Uh, I don't really want to make this uh, statement too long for today because I am very tired, but Ben Swan made a video uh, today outlining, I think he said, four very solid constitutional reasons that Brett Kavanaugh should not sit on the Supreme Court um, related to torture uh, policies under George Bush, related to the Patriot Act, related to all sorts of, of uh, opinions that he has on corporate, uh, you know, co corporate law, how, how corporations are able to behave towards consumers and things like that. And uh, I think that Ben Swan, in seven minutes, I think the video was, laid out a better case for why Kavanaugh shouldn't be on the, Feder on the Supreme Court than the Democratic Party and the media have, ha have done in uh, months. You know, they've had three months, four months, I don't, I don't know how long, since July. So, approaching four months, the Democrats have had all the time they needed to basically show that, that this guy is not consistent with the constitutional values of individual freedom or, or uh, uh, privacy rights, things like that. And those were many issues where I think people that were of, you know, very different political persuasions would have would have really identified and uh, i personally i also had issues especially with the patriot act where i said you know kavanaugh is not of choice that i'm very comfortable with i i would rather in fact he did not get onto the court when he was nominated so what what happened instead well the democrats showed up to the hearings and so, obviously so did the republicans and what instead of instead you got Kavanaugh basically he he had about as solid of an appearance during the actual hearings as you could get because the Democrats were not giving him substantive questions they, they were basically questioning him on things that they could improve and 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 false assertions about things that uh, he had done or or racial opinions that they thought he might have from documents that they claimed that they couldn't get to. And eventually it was revealed that what they claimed was there wasn't there. So it was all a bunch of confusing bullshit uh, since, since the hearings began. So the hearings were, were an utter failure for the Democrats. So what did they end up doing? <coughs> well, once the committee vote was set to uh, happen, they 
uh, latched onto this whole Christine Blasey Ford. Uh, originally, it was an it was an anonymous tipster uh, from a letter and whatever, and then then there was uh, it was revealed by mysterious mysterious circumstances that it was a woman from uh, California who claimed that uh, you know etc cetera, etc cetera, and you know uh, gross sexual imposition or whatever you want to call it back in 1982 when they were in high school blah 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 you know the story by now of course then there were the other accusers uh, i think one of them's names was uh debbie debbie ramirez i think and she said that uh kavanaugh had had pulled his uh winky out at her at a party or something back in the 80s and then for some reason everything everything kavanaugh did bad was in the 80s <laughs> it's it's like uh, all those years of reaganomics and you know ferris bueller they really brought out the worst in his personality or something well it, it doesn't i'll tell you what it did not make any sense then there was the whole thing with julie swetnick which is like um somebody who who, who seemed you know a way to bring out a witness that seems like the the dumbest piece of crap you could ever find so and i don't care okay at this point people are gonna be like oh victims 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 no if you are a victim it also does not entitle you to to be an idiot the rest of the time, which is what she is if you look at any sort of uh, story that involves her. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, instead of eroding his credibility in the eyes of, of the general public, what it did was create this uh, massive tension on each side of the political spectrum. Uh, a lot of people who originally were not very keen on the pick or whatever and they were like ah trump you know he could have picked somebody much better uh suddenly they're like well i mean they're trying to use this in order to attack donald trump so that's why a lot of people even with all the flaws with kavanaugh they ended up supporting him and and uh i think that that's a problem uh <coughs> but again you know i've said this before you do not really get very often supreme court justices that are exactly according to, to your vision of the world a lot of people by the way have no clue how they would want the supreme court to uh rule on certain issues because they don't they don't have real opinions their opinions are uh determined by what type of people they they move around with okay so it, it's been kind of a, a battle of of different types of ignorant people and then, yeah, on the Democratic side, there were a lot of people who were like, well, Brett Kavanaugh, he, he's a wh white male. Uh, he will end abortion. Uh, he's going to basically bite children's he heads off if they, uh, you know, draw welfare benefits or something or, or draw S-CHIP, uh, one of those federal programs. All of that crap, all of that crap had nothing to do with impeaching the credibility of Brett Kavanaugh. When you impeach somebody... You basically show that they that, that there's very little reason to have confidence in him, and in the in terms of Kavanaugh, the only thing they ever succeeded in doing was getting him to lash out at them after about a week and a half of Democratic senators claiming, well, you know, we need to investigate him, but in reality, we know the women the women are the people who uh, would who are who are going to save us from this. Uh, reality, blah, blah, blah. The, the women are the people who are, you know, key in this. And, and Kavanaugh has to respect the accusers. And, and uh, God forbid that he would mount a ferocious defense of his own character that uh, he's, you know, tried to build through a professional life, just like a lot of other people do. So you had this change in people's attitudes where instead of it being about Kavanaugh and, and you know, his judicial philosophy or something uh people started identifying with him as either this uh disgusting uh hannibal lecter like like person if you were on the ideological left or as this uh real uh, you know i i don't even i mean hercules person you know this guy who would who was uh, an epic hero going out against all this adversity or whatever and then of course there was a lindsey graham moment and then there was the sheldon whitehouse moment on the other side 
and Cory Booker and uh, what's her name, Diane Feinstein. So now we arrive now now that he's he's basically you know he's going to be confirmed according to the count at the moment. I mean I think that they have 50 votes. And Lisa Murkowski was the last person I heard who, who has not declared how she's going to vote on the Republican side. But they don't even need her because they can get Mike Pence to uh, break the tie. <coughs> or if she just votes present, they win 50-49. So the Democrats don't really have a way to block the confirmation of Kavanaugh. So what they're basically going the, – what they're running on right now is that his temperament is wrong – and also, uh, maybe if we get the Senate, this is their reasoning. L listen real quick. There are people who are saying, I don't know if the Democratic Party itself has people saying this or if it's just Democratic supporters. There are people saying that you should vote for Democrats in order to be able to impeach Brett Kavanaugh should he come on to the Supreme Court. Now, now realize how pathetic of a, of a draw that is. If If... They've already wasted so much time uh, on this latest campaign to impeach Kavanaugh's credibility. Now they're going to double down and go even further, even though they've they've lost his they've lost control of this process to derail him. Uh, and they're they're gonna just it, it really is basically like a bullfighter who's being dragged around by the bull. Uh, you know, the bullfighter is already dead, but he can't let go because, I don't know, his spurs are stuck to the bull's heels or, or, its, or its tail or something. That's the Democratic Party at the moment. And, <coughs> you know, the, the idea is that each party should be able to propose an alternative uh, perspective for the voters. And this isn't it. This isn't it. The, the alternative pr perspective shouldn't revolve around one candidate for the Supreme Court. And by the way, if, if for example, another senator, or another Supreme Court justice dies or retires in the next year or so, what are they supposed to do? It's, first of all, they would need some super majority in the Senate in order to impeach Brett Kavanaugh. And second of all, even supposing they were able to go try to go forward with that, with that process, the Democrats would also have to deal with potentially another Trump court nomination. So they're, they're going to basically um, be, you know, let, let's say what they're saying is really what they intend to do. They're going to be wasting all their time trying to screw with the Supreme Court. That's going to have a major, major, major impact on the image of the Democratic Party. They're, they're going to be looked at as people who, who don't know how to control themselves when it comes to settling political scores, which is actually true. Uh, so that's about it. I think that ultimately this is going to really backfire in the Democrats. A lot of their uh, middle of the road voters are not really interested anymore because, you know, they just didn't really believe the charges. And they, they think that a lot of this obsession over Kavanaugh is, is not really what's that's that's not really the core of why they want to go out and vote. They they have a number of other issues they might want to go out and vote for, uh, such as you know I was just talking about Sherrod Brown in the other video, such as uh, you know collective bargaining rights for unions. You know there there are a lot of progressive voters out there who who want to go out and and vote for somebody who's going to defend the environment, uh, fight against climate change or something. A lot of different progress, you know, these aren't my issues, but they're the issues of many voters. So <clears throat> instead, they're focused entirely on this. And many Americans of, of a number of backgrounds don't really know what the goal is and what the, the, the evidence is. And uh, yeah, this is going very, very badly for the Democrats. Uh, that's about it. Please like the video, share the video. Subscribe to the channel and subscribe to my other channel, Razor Ray Live Wounds, and I'll see you later.